So guys, we have some really amazing news. In the days to come, there will be a brand new software update rolling out to the entire fleet, changing the way we use maps and navigation. Now looking back at just this year alone, Tezza has rolled out numerous different updates, bringing a ton of new features and upgrades to all of our vehicles. Coming with the spring update earlier this year, we got things such as preview sentry mode, are we there yet, and hands-free trunk. And then more recently for the summer release, we got items such as weather forecast, Forecast, air quality index and go on green. There's an exhaustive list of highlights with each of these updates and the trend says that we are going to be seeing a ton more of these before the year ends. Now if you want to know more about each and every one of these specific features and if you have missed my previous video go check it out. I'll drop a link in the description below. Now out of all the features that we've gotten so far the one that really stands out in our day-to-day -day routine is going to be one that comes from the summer update. The the feature here is called navigate to sub destination and what it essentially does is after entering in your navigation details you can select a sub destination for more accurate routing details. This is especially important for those who have access to full self driving supervised where the car will no longer drop you off at a random parking lot but drive you directly to a front entrance of that location. So be it a mall, a hospital or an airport thanks to this latest navigation update full self driving will now let you off at the door each and every single time. This aspect is very critical to the development and integration of robo taxis and making sure that the drop off pinpoint is much more precise than just simply getting to the destination. And then adding to the experience aspect of the navigation, they have recently included an are we there yet to the rear display, giving rear passengers and potential customers more detail of the drop off and approximate ETA. So now this all sounds really exciting and it looks like they are are all out on the new mapping service preparing themselves for the launch of RoboTaxi on August the 10th. So further building upon that they are about to roll out a brand new software update that changes the way we interact with navigation today. According to Not A Tesla app this update 2024.32 which will be going out to the public will include all of these new features. Starting off there will be a new search this area feature allowing you to drag the map to a different location and it will automatically query the same data once again. Then we finally have predictive text coming to navigation. In the search bar it will try to suggest words and terms as you type and fill them in. This will be automatically inputted and you can select each one if it doesn't suit your needs. And then for the best feature to be coming with this update, this is going to be the one that Elon has hinted over the past few weeks where Tesla will be able to communicate with each other providing traffic details to the cloud then pushing it to the rest of the fleet. This is a feature we've all been waiting for knowing that Waze and Google Maps cannot be relied on down to the minute as it requires other drivers to report the incident. This makes the idea of vehicle to vehicle vehicle sharing a really big deal and one that you can really save time on when you look to avoid traffic. With this update here, your navigation will be able to display construction on your route with a new icon and while Tesla already considers construction when navigating to a location, it will now display the location of the construction on the screen giving you a better idea of the area to avoid. So using this, you can decide not to use the path of navigation that it decides and opt for an alternative route that gets you to your destination quicker. This is going to be extremely beneficial again for a full self-driving supervised as it will now be able to in real time change its path and take another route even if it adds a few extra miles. Now, like I said, Tesla is all hands on deck with navigation and mapping. They are preparing for the launch of RoboTaxi and is going to be heavily relying on all of these services. There could be many more changes happening to Nav in the next couple of months, taking into consideration the pickup and drop off point, whether the customer is going to be standing out on the street at the curb or they're going to be underneath a shaded area in case there is a ton of sun or it's pouring rain. All of this is going to tie in with the new smart summon feature that we are expecting to come out in the next couple of months. This is going to be heavily dependent on Tesla Vision and the new smart mapping services. And although this doesn't put us on the forefront or even on par with what Tesla has recently given China with their extreme high definition partnership and detail with Baidu satellites, this is something that is going to push us further into the full self-driving development. 
comment. If you want to know exactly what China has compared to what we have here and once full self-driving supervised launches over there, this is going to catapult the way full self-driving progress is going to take place. Go check out my previous video. I have all the details over there. I'll drop it in the description below and up top there. Now to wrap things up, for my final thoughts here, I thought I'd bring in Grok and what I think about the current voice commands. I think this is going to be able to tie all the services together very well. And once Grok AI or XAI launches and integrates this into the navigation system, you can talk as naturally as possible, asking it for specific locations, specific specific details and Grok will be able to pinpoint exactly where you want to go and the exact drop off location. Elon has hinted this for many months now and it looks like the team is probably working in the background to try to get this all meshed up together. But once it does, this is going to be an exciting time with RoboTaxi coming out. This is going to really change the way we use our cars. What's really crazy about all this is that in 2024, the year of AI, we are still using the current voice command systems. And a lot of people have really been waiting for this to be upgraded. This is something that Tesla really needs to focus on at this moment. And with navigation and all these services coming out, this is going to be a really big push forward word for the regular Joe to use AI. Anyways, I am super excited and so stoked for what's to come in the following months. I will keep an eye out on all the little details and update you as quickly as possible. So make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe and that notification bell if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. You guys will get the latest over there first before I push out a video here. This should be it for this video though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.